Hi, my name is Scott Smith. I'm a landscape painter. And today I've actually got something to show you that isn't quite landscape painting. Um, I'm actually going to talk today about prints. Now, the print market has totally changed for uh, artists. Now, it used to be that you know you could only put something out into print if it was going to appeal to the mass market. Now, nowadays, you really don't have any excuses for having mass market imagery on your walls because you've got so much to choose from out there. And that's partly down to the fact that a lot of artists out there can put their work available as prints by uploading images onto the web and then allowing people to pay for them and download them, uh, download the image onto Canvas and have it sent to them without it going via the artist. Sites like DeviantArt and Redbubble are the ones that I use. So today I've got for you a box that just came this morning uh, from DeviantArt and a lot of the time you will wonder with your customers how good the product is in DeviantArt um, and that's something that I worried about when I first uh, put my work up onto it so I had to order some myself and, and check out the print quality. So I've got my box here, it's just been delivered, so this is actually going to be an unboxing, this is a first for me. Um, firstly, uh, the packaging is robust, so you know you're not going to uh, get a damaged product there. Uh, they've done something very clever to uh, separate the frame from the outside of the packet, and these little uh, Card, this little cardboard attachment that you can see here um, stops the corners getting hurt if the package takes a knock on the outside. Okay, uh, so let's just open this thing up. First of all, we've got this little packet in here, which is a little envelope for your delivery note, and it also has inside. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a, a little wall bracket to uh, fix this flush onto your wall. So if you don't, it doesn't actually come with a hanging cord. Uh, this this is actually one of their framed prints. Uh, it doesn't come with a hanging cord. It comes with this wall fixture, uh, which is quite nice. Um, it's not the greatest thing if you don't want to screw a hole into your wall. So you may want to think about an um, alternative hanging system uh, should you not want to do that it comes with a little screw to screw it into the wall and it's also got a handy little spirit level in there to get it uh, to get it straight okay great nice little embossed logo on that little envelope there Okay, so let's get into the packet. Yeah, it's come and it's in good quality because of the well packaged. You do actually pay for your packaging and your shipping at DeviantArt, and it's not exactly the cheapest in the world, but uh, you do get it over in one piece. Okay, I have here one. 16 inch square piece of artwork and uh, first impressions are just right away of the frame and it's nice and chunky and it's actually a lot sturdier than, than I had expected, a lot heavier. Uh, the thickness of the frame is, is, is a fair standard and that is the uh, the Deviant Art little sticker in the back, which is a, a nice little, nice little embroidered little sticker in the back there. Um, but this the style of framing is is quite nice just now. It's just like nice and chunky, and it goes with the contemporary style image. Uh, I've chosen to go for the print onto paper, um, but on this particular. Um, Piece, I think probably spending what the extra 10% on the cost to get it onto canvas would have been a good idea 
um, the smoother finish can be nice for some of the digital art that you'll get on DeviantArt um, or the photography. Um, not always a great idea to print your photographs onto canvas. There has been a bit of a fashion of people doing that, uh, but for me, you kind of lose the uh, you, you lose the detail a lot of the time. Okay, uh, the one thing I'd say about it, I mean I do have my work out in limited edition print and there is a there is a reduction in quality of the print from proper Gigli limited edition printing but obviously you're going to pay a lot more for it. Um, Possibly if you're to be critical, there's a little bit of a fog across it, um, the colours maybe not quite as vibrant as they could be, uh, but yes, that is being very critical. I think what you actually pay for with this print, the detail's good, and the finish is good, the bonding onto board is good, and the whole chunkiness of the item is good. Um, you can get these things rolled and sent to you, but actually having the framed item come into you with a hanging system and it's chunky enough, straight on the wall and you're good to go. I'll give you an idea of the prices of, uh, of what you pay for on DeviantArt. Um, this particular one, uh, which is uh, 16 inch, is uh, I paid but what you would pay for that is £60 for the uh, canvas uh, and £55 for the bonded paper onto board. Um, and I must say that a lot of the time DeviantArt do discounts if you spend more than a certain amount and at the moment that would qualify for a 10% discount so it's kind of 50 quid for this. 55 if you're getting a canvas and you can get it unframed the print unframed for £13, it wouldn't qualify for any discount at that price and £20 for the canvas which is just rolled to you, rolled and in a tube. When you get the print rolled in a tube you're going to save a bit in the carriage. This particular image is, is available up to 2 foot square which is bigger again, the price is on that uh, 24 inch or 60 centimetres, 61 centimetres would be 90 pounds framed. That would qualify for about a 20% discount though, so that would come down in price again, so you would pay less than 80 quid for that. Uh, which I believe is really good value. Um, when you, the, the, the best way to purchase these prints is spend more, at the moment anyway with the discounts, is spend more than $120 and get 20% off the full value of everything. Okay, the 30-inch 30, uh, canvas uh, framed, which is a uh, pretty huge really, uh, not quite so big as the original painting behind me, but it's not far off. Um, the 30-inch canvas is going to cost you £125, and uh, if you, you would then get the 20% discount for that, so it would come to just over £100. Quid. Um, for your US dollars, just subtract a third of these values and for, for euros, just add around 20% um, to the values that I'm given. That's at the current exchange rates. Uh, failing that, just look up a currency converter or DeviantArt just converts the currency if you go onto the site. You just select the currency that you want. So all in all a pretty good product for the price that you get. I've also got some uh, coasters that are in the post to me and I'll do another video to show you the quality of those coasters. I've ordered the coasters before, I know they're good quality but we'll just see from the next ones if they've sustained that quality in the last couple of years. If you want to have a look at my DeviantArt account I'll leave a link on the bottom uh, description. So hopefully any customers of mine that are looking for prints know that the quality is good and it's really good for what you pay for. Yes, you'll pay a little bit of the carriage to send to the UK as it's produced in the US, but any US customers of mine, there is deviant art prints out there that can locally ship to you.
Uh, the other website uh, I do is Redbubble, which I know also do good quality prints and good quality framing. That gets produced in Australia and sent out. So if you're in the UK, you'll be paying for shipping from Australia. But I know that the prices aren't too, um, too bad for that. Another thing to, to bear in mind with the DeviantArt and the Redbubble prints is they're going to take a while to ship to you. Um, you're not paying huge amounts of shipping considering where they're coming from uh, because the economy shipping uh, does take a wee while to get to you. I think the order on this must have been around a week to two weeks with Redbubble because it's been printed in Australia. Uh, you could be talking a month or so to get the prints in. So uh, something that you want to think about well before you're actually needing it in the door. Okay, thanks for watching the review of these prints and uh, I'll catch you for my next demonstration which will be this painting behind me. Um, thanks for that, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.